Isn't that something? Absolutely beautiful. Kitchen made. Jeremy here, back at the storage unit facility where we bought the $80 unit and the $1,200 criminal unit. And I have to get the $80 unit out today, but I want to check in on the $1,200 criminal unit. I want to make sure nobody tampered with it, make sure everything is still there, because I spent $100 to rent it for one more month because there's so much volume and I have so much in my schedule already, I needed the extra time. So let's double check and then we're going to get into the $80 unit. So, let's see. It's all still there. Everything's still there. Let's take a real quick peek because we're going to be highlighting and digging into this all this week as well. If you recall, the sheriff were here for this unit specifically, and it's packed all the way to the back. We have no idea what's in it, what could be in it. And look, look at this stash here, all the way up to almost the ceiling. Just who knows? And so we've got ATVs, we've got dune buggies, we've got dirt bikes, we've got another dirt bike over there. We've got trunks. There's that trunk. There's that trunk. There's that trunk. This one is going to be a ton of fun. There's old Fisher Price toys right there too. Now that we know everything is safe in the $1,200 unit, let's dig into the $80 unit. I wanted to get this one yesterday, George wouldn't let me. Threw my back out bad. Should maybe go see a physical therapist, get a full professional massage, the whole deal. But now we are back to work. Let's see. Let's open her up. <laughs> this one's gonna be filled with antique treasure. When most people put things in storage, just basic psychology of people, they put the most expensive things in the back, usually in the back corner, because that makes it the hardest to get to. A lot of times I'll see it up in the front corner too, maybe a, a rifle or a pistol. So we don't know what we're gonna find yet, but I'm gonna get some of these bigger items out of the way, like the roll top desk and the antique stove. I'll show you what that all looks like. There's more pieces of the stove right there. And then we'll dig in and see what we got here. I found this antique desk and I've gone ahead and moved that in. Here's a roll top as well. Let's take a peek. We got the top open, but nothing in there. Cord for your computers. We've got all kinds of, you know, items you would normally think you would find in a desk. Uh, oh, and just, just wait until you see what this uncovered. I can't wait to show you. Uh, well, doesn't look like we can get that out, but we've got uh, some ancient warriors in here. Dig and discover. We've got a checklist. An evacuation bag checklist. Whew, we didn't need that. It's freezing. Dude. Oh, here's a thimble, and that, that my friends, that thimble, that may be, let's see if we can find any, no, not silver, not finding any markings, although, nice one, very collectible, uh, all kinds of little tools, there's laminate, transparent laminate for scrapbooking. You know what that means? This is definitely grandma's unit. All kinds of paperwork. Look at the old antique rocker. There are things in here that are labeled with tape. So that makes me wonder, did grandma pass away? Some things were supposed to go into storage. Some were supposed to go to a house. You see house there. You see storage here. Grandma might have went in a nursing home, but this is absolutely grandma's unit. Let me show you how we know for sure. I don't know how we keep finding sewing supplies, but here's a singer, entire contraption right there. And remember that cabinet in the back? This is one of the old school enamel top cabinets. Look, there's your flower shaker right there. 
This is going to be awesome. These things are so hot and so desirable. This thing is absolutely amazing. Let's see who made it. I can't believe it. This is an old antique kitchen maid. Oh, yeah! For all our sewing machine lovers, here we go. We got a Singer Stylist 534. It looks incredible. Looks like it's ready to roll. Love it. If you recall, somehow, some way, with such a huge crowd, we got this unit for $80. This dresser alone, which is almost brand new, just dirty because it's been in storage, that'll fetch us $200 to $300. Let's just go $200 on the low side. And the dehumidifier, that's another easy $100 right there. Yeah! Yeah! I love these kind of units. This is desk number three that I found in the unit, and there's still one more in there. So, let's figure out what's inside more modern desk with all kinds of household items in it but somebody refurnished it or repainted it we've got dominoes Let's see what's in the dominoes dominoes we got we got paperwork household items i just want to be respectful make sure we don't find any personal names or things along those lines we've got look at this we found my book now, I don't know what my book is, but there is my book. And let's see if we can find out. It's so cold, so bitter cold. This is not an easy job to do in this weather. And if I take my gloves off, I can't feel my... Okay, A is for apple. So this is a learning thing. And we've got one more drawer. Let's check. Just for fun. This must have been the arts and crafts desk right here for the kids when they came over to see Granny. Here's an older vanity. So I'm going to get that out next so we can get to the actual antique stove. Look up here. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this contraption is for quilting. And you probably know better than I do. Go ahead, pause the video and let me know. Is this for quilting? Or is it not? As we look down here, this is pretty indicative of mouse damage. So there's definitely mice in here. And it looks like, if you look in the corner, towels. So they were there for warmth. Hopefully nothing else got damaged. Because it may be filled with antique quilts and fabric. Look at this. Look at this, the old ironing board. And kitty cats. Here's a look at the tag that's on the vanity mirror. So the vanity mirror is huge. And so I was just going to give you a look at the tag and then get it in because I'm freezing. I've got the stove unburied. Now there are other pieces to it as well off here to the left. And there are pieces of it in these bags down here, these feed bags. It's so cold out here. I have no idea how anybody could be out here without coats and gloves and all that, but some people are more studs than me. So, my eyelids have been actually freezing shut, but uh, I got warmed up, and we're going to try and measure this because one of our subscribers wanted a measurement. So, we are at 37 inches this way, and from front to back, we'll go here. We're at 24 and a half inches. Now, from bottom to top, we are at 32 and three quarter inches. Now, that doesn't count these pieces as well. For example, the top here with the enamel, and then this piece that would sit down on the top as well. I know you can't see everything right now, but here you go. This is a Chamberlain. Cham Chambers. 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 Chambers stove.
in its heyday, it'd look a little something like this. Now I've got pieces and parts all over the place, so I think they have everything for it, so restoration should be a blast. So, I don't have time to restore it, but there's no doubt somebody else is going to fall in love with this piece and want it immediately. A quick search on eBay, and I've already found the stove that I found in the storage unit right here. And it sold for $3,200. Now, this one has been completely restored, and it's been restored into a different color. But this is it. This is the one. I have all of these parts and pieces, even though you haven't seen it in the video. But all of these parts and pieces, I've already checked through it. Remember, when you see a video, you see minutes, what is actual hours upon hours worth of work. So if I were to restore this, we can now get a value. And I've got all the parts, all the pieces. Kind of cool. I don't have the manual. But we do have a price. More evidence that we're going to be in quilting, embroidery, cross-stitch, needlepoint. And you guys are going to go crazy because I know so many of you love it. I think this frame is either for a futon, which would be this futon mattress over here, or it could be for quilting. And I think this right here is an actual quilt or blanket display. So that's what it looks like, a hanger for blankets. Maybe as you're working on them. Oh, it is so cold. But we got to keep moving because we want to see what this baby looks like. Check this out, this really cool corner table. Now, antique for sure, and then the legs are right over here. So we got the legs and we got the corner table with leather top, it's pretty sweet. We finally have the kitchen cabinet all to ourselves and it's absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful, beautiful distressed look. It's KitchenAid, Wash Mouth, Endicott Company, Andrews Inc. Now check this out. All of the original latches are on there. Look when we open it up. You even have the kitchen made time chart. Let me, let me bring the camera over and show you. This thing is so awesome. So I think it was your flour that would actually go into here. And so this was your dispenser. And you'd then come down here, crank your flour out. Now, I do think we're missing, there was a can opener that was supposed to be over there. And we may have it in here. But man, what an amazing piece of history. Let's take a look at some of the other cabinets. All right, this hardware, that's original hardware still there opening it up look at that a little something there i don't know if that was added later or not wood doesn't match and then we should have should be a way to release here yep there it is it's a button except it's not working oh there it goes okay so you can see the original release right there i think that might have been added later too Nothing here in the cabinet. Look at the corners. Look at the corner over here. Look at the corner over there. All that beautiful distress. I mean, that's what people love and they pay for. Isn't that something? Absolutely beautiful. Kitchen made. Let's look at the bottom cabinets. This looks like an actual replacement. This one is an original, but these hinges those do look original let's see what we have inside in here look at this they had to have been using it walmart bags i mean this wasn't just a piece in the house grandma was using it Tupperware in there look look metal rack whatever you were holding on the metal rack it's still there and what do we have here these look like covers for those, those look like covers for a grill. Maybe, maybe this was the grilling cabinet. Except, no, no, they were definitely using it. Look, number two pencils. We got bamboo chopsticks. 
Got Coca-Cola, Santa Claus. This was being used on a daily basis. Look, there's a there's an original there's an original piece of furniture handle to pull something out. That was stuck in there. Let's see if we have anything over here. Oh! This would have been lunch. I love Smarties, one of my favorites, but the mice got to it first. Nah! Lucky mice. Nothing in there. What a gorgeous piece of furniture. This is the piece that was hidden back in the corner. This is the piece that I saw and went, I cannot believe I got this for $80. This has been Jeremy. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to dig into the rest of the boxes and the totes tomorrow, and then we're going to get into that $1,200 unit. You're not going to want to miss it with all the trunks, all the totes, all the who knows what could be in there. Remember, adventure awaits. You got to go find it. And hopefully it's warm where you're finding it, because it sure is in here. Look at her. She just keeps going like the Energizer Bunny. I know somebody else like that.